Well, good morning. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Jehoshaphat Kelly coming to you live from Lake Butler Church of Christ. What's your confusion there, Tyler? I, I thought my middle name was Joshua. Oh, well, at least, uh, you know, I thought of a good king when I thought to make up your middle name for you. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> well, can we go to Luke chapter 20? Eh, I guess so. All right. So Joe Ash has spoken to us that we can go there. Oh, yeah, it's Joshua. Yeah. Isn't Joshua also a similar name to the person we're actually talking about today? It is. And our Lord and Savior Jesus, in Luke chapter 20 and verse 20. Now, please don't say, hey, it's a 2020, just like the year. Oh, brilliant. It is. But that wasn't what I thought when I thought about this. What I did think about is that we are still in the tax season. And we come to this debate that people have had, apparently for 2,000 years, about government and taxes. And so verse 20 says, So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be righteous, that they might seize on his words, in order to deliver him to the power and authority of the governor. Then they asked him, saying, Teacher, we know that you say and teach rightly, and you do not show personal favoritism, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Why do you test me? Show me a denarius. Whose image and inscription does it have? And they answered and said, Caesar's. And he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. But they could not catch him in his words in the presence of the people, and they marveled at his answer and kept silent. You know, for where they were at the time, Tyler, the fact that anyone had Roman money on them would have been, well, sin. Mm -hmm. Because they would have taken the image of someone who was claiming to be divine into the temple of God. And that, in and of itself, would have been bad enough. But as you look at what Jesus says, and as you think about coins, coins bear no mark until they are put through a foundry and then stamped with an image. And then that coin retains that image. And the image that's on it denotes ownership. And Jesus is reminding us of our origin as people. That we can get divided by nation, we can get divided by skin color, we can get divided by gender. But at the end of the day, in the beginning, God made mankind, male and female, he created them. But he made them in his image and you and I during this tax season if the government says this is what you give to us it's because it's the government's anyways but you and I we need to make sure that we give ourselves to God because the image that is struck on us oh we marred it with our sin but Jesus Christ has made us a new creation if we are in him we belong to something greater and higher than any government of man. And that right there is the thought I want to leave you with as we go into the weekend. If you're a child of God, you have the image of God stamped on you. You have it renewed in Jesus Christ when you were baptized. And nothing, nothing in this world or the next can alter that you belong to God. Tyler, you got any thoughts on that? I just thought it was an excellent illustration because like with the coins, you get when you start off, you have a brand new coin, and then over time it gets beaten up and beaten up and beaten up. But then if you clean it off and you make it shiny like it was when you first made it, you have something that's still back in the image of when it was first created. Amen. Good thought, my brother. We wish you the Lord's blessing, or I should say we extend to you the blessing of the Lord. May his face shine upon you. May your path be smooth and straight today. May all stumbling blocks be cleared out. As you go into this weekend and finish out this day, I'm Brian Reagan, and this is Tyler Joshua Kelly. Have a blessed day, y'all.